Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. Okay, and so we'll be playing a 2v2 battle with a random ally. Okay, fast forward. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm not really trying to go for the navy. Uh, since my navy is pretty weak, I don't really want to go for the navy right now. Okay, but doing some good scouting either way. And also, my opponent is doing really good at this moment. Okay, so shipyard, early shipyard. Okay, so he sees that uh, I don't have any defenses here, which is a good call. Because I sometimes lose to delta rushes, uh, especially on this map where there is a beach right here. So, building some naval platforms to defend the coastline. Okay. Okay, so there's a delta right there. Boom. No deltas allowed here, boy. Okay, well, anyways. Hammer trying to scout me. Don't really have any anti-armor troops out yet. So, yeah. Nice. So, hammer down. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we basically scouted both of them, and it looks like blue is going for a higher tech, a higher tech kind of build, because he has five supply centers, green might rush, he only has two supply centers, uh, but level two, and if you guys saw, a while ago on the mini map there were some green troops here, and yeah, green troops, assaults, hammers, and yeah, Cyclones. Okay, putting on that air raid warning, so my torpedo platforms are better armed against these Cyclones. Okay. Annoying Cyclone. Oh, Blue is in it too! Oh, I did not see this coming at all. I thought Blue was teching up to go for a Vertex or Zeus. Oh, okay. This is gonna be insanely hard to defend. I thought I only had to defend against green. Blue joining in is gonna make the thing ten times more lethal. Wow. I don't have any troops out. In an uh, emergency, I put these sniper towers out so I can kill these assaults. Uh, using a gold common defense boost to increase the range of these sniper towers. Okay, so now that there's a hawk out, I am able to more easily destroy these hammers, since the splash damage will deal good amounts of damage. Okay, looks like my partner is help me, helping me out with a spam of infantry and some gun towers here. And jaguars near here. Wow. Wait, what? Did it? Did a delta just pop up through here? Wow. Never knew my torpedo platforms were that weak. Might have to upgrade them soon. Alright, but either way. Okay, reconstructing my own base. Okay, so it looks like my partner is going for a all-in ground. Okay, so porcupines, jaguars, okay, gun towers, even infantry. Okay, so he has a lot of infantry on patrol in the middle of the map. So, if another kind of rush pops in, these infantry will hold it off for a while. So I think that's not a bad idea. Okay, building my own sort of defense line so I can uh, defend if there's a if there is another rush. Okay, now that I have a hog out, I will scout both blue and green. Ooh, that's a level two special vehicle factory. Some deltas, a lot of hammers and fire assaults. Uh, HQ level 4. Okay, so he's gonna spam hammers. Here. Okay, so there's some hammers and uh, Zeus. Upgrading the shipyard. Or he's building the shipyard. Either way, he does plan on producing naval units. So, to be aware of that. Okay. So, Avia Factory. And there might be a chance of Vertex as well. Okay. 
Okay, so my partner decides to move in his rifleman to, I think, destroy the bunker or something. Oh, no, I think he's going in to sacrifice riflemen and deal damage. Since uh, he is building chameleons now, and he needs to sacrifice the CP. Since one rifleman does cost one CP to build, and he had tons of riflemen, so... We need to free up some CP so he can produce Jaguars, which is not a bad idea. Okay, so... Producing Grenadiers to optimize the firepower of my army and sending out some riflemen uh, to replace the scouts that my partner just lost. Okay, so destroying the scout over here because uh, I need a scout over there and it's not fair for my opponent to have a scout over there and I don't, right? Okay, sniping down that delta and Thinking that there might be a vertex over here, I come in for a re-engagement, but yeah, no point in that. Nice. Okay, and so I go for a fourth level of HQ to produce more aviation, while my partner is producing a full-on ground army. And this is a huge army. Okay. Okay, so I came over here to see if there was any replaced scouts or anything. Uh, but, uh, I just move in my rifleman here, just in case. Alright. So, my partner has a very strong defensive line, consisting of some gun towers there, there, and even some minefields. Okay, sending another hawk to scout. Okay, more typhoons. Okay, I knew it. Airfield, airfield. Yeah, these guys are going for a slight... A uh, vertex kind of army, but I don't think they're gonna invest too much in vertex Since these guys do have several factories to produce ground units okay, Let's speed this up to see my opponent's army Yeah Okay Vertex, okay, where are my hawks? There are my hawks Okay, thinking that there might be another vertex or some Thors coming in. I send in my hawks to attempt to snipe down something, but it looks like there's a huge, a huge, uh, kind of, kind of a couple of Poseidons, and since this is a very small ramp, Poseidons are not going to have any trouble at all in dealing heavy splash damage to troops, along with these several torrents behind. Okay, but Green's force firing is kind of off. It's not really that good. Okay, Jaguar's going behind the enemy base, so I think he's going to try and do this to snipe down a factory or two, not really sure. Nice, nice. Okay, so at this moment, Blue decides to attack with full-on hammers, but my Jaguars along with my opponents, my allies Jaguars, along with these Hawks are easily able to destroy these hammers. Like, there's no point in spamming hammers when there are a, a ton of grenadiers, jaguars, and hawks. Nice. Perfect. Okay, so the wall spam actually worked, and my allies' kind of attack was easily destroyed. And so was our opponent's attack on our bases. And it looks like I'm going to produce albatross so I can bomb their factories. Ooh, HQ level 5? I think he might actually build a, a uh, nuclear center or something. Poseidons. Wow, three Poseidons able to destroy a gator. Nice. I don't think my allies' gators are that strong, so I help him out. Of course. Because that's what teammates do. They help each other. Nice. Okay, perfect. And so, yeah, now that they have four albatross, let's see if I attack any. Okay, but, yeah, we got a scout first. Whoa, what was that? What is this? Hmm? That's a space system, if you ask me. I'm gonna destroy this space system. I'm gonna attack it. Right, so let's see. Let's do it. Let's do this. Nice. 
air attack on these albatross and let's go bombs away nice it's weird how blue didn't react to that he should have sent his vertex right now right thinking he would send his vertex i sent my hawks but he's not going to send his vertex that's kind of that's kind of boring wanted an epic vertex interception all right but yeah can't ask for everything okay so seeing how he's upgrading to a third level of avia factory he might be producing thors so got to keep that in mind Okay, so more albatross production because I love albatross. Okay, so I sent in a, a hawk here to see if he had any troops clustered up together so I can attack with albatross before my partner decides to attack with a full fleet of troops. And it looks like there was. Looks like there was. Now, let's see. Let's see this epic bombing. Boom. So, wow. Wow. These troops are pretty strong. I'm not gonna lie. These troops are very strong. Okay, Vertex coming. Okay, let's send our Hawks. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, epic, epic interception. Let's go. Nice. That was beautiful. Well done. Send in another squad of albatross to bomb and was able to destroy another zeus nice okay so sending in my hawks to deal as, as much damage as possible nice Ooh, thor. Thor. hammers to flank poseidon's force firing and so were vikings rocket towers bunkers everything they possibly can do they are doing it but i don't think it's enough there's just too many jaguars Okay, another Thor coming in, bombing that area. Okay, so what you would expect in a normal attack, but this is a really well done attack. Okay, so my partner is moving on here, as I think he expects there to be a space system charging or something. Yeah, but there is no space system, so... Yeah. There is a ton of cyclones, though. Nice, okay, so his attack is destroyed, but either way, I decided to attack his HQ. That was six bombers. Okay, wasn't enough, but of course I have to send in my Hawks to dish out the remaining damage. Okay, okay. That's a very fortified HQ. Usually it only takes six to seven bombers to destroy a level five HQ. Uh, but yeah, his HQ is super strong. So, had to send in my hawks. Okay, either way, I lost a lot of hawks in that attack. Okay, so I have to replenish those hawks. Okay, and so he requests a scout here. Not a bad idea, since I think he might even go for a space system myself. Okay, so green isn't using an HQ rebuilding boost since this is a level 2 HQ. So, either he doesn't have any, or he just doesn't want to waste them, or something like that. Oh, nuclear missile is being charged up. Nice. Okay, speed it up. I'll be building some more anti-air towers just in case Thor's decide to pop up and say hi. That's not gonna happen though, because I have Hawks. And anti-air towers, nothing is going to destroy this. Okay, let's see. When is that missile ready? Come on. Okay, so I decide to scout. Okay, nuclear missile has been uh, positioned. Okay, so there are a bunch of troops here, but I don't, I don't really want to attack that area with my albatross yet. Because I think he might be able to move those troops. Okay, so nuclear missile. Well, let's see this beautiful blast. Let's see this. Nice. Okay, that was a burr. Not a burr. <laughs> a beautiful blast. 
The, oh, this is too much. Fall back. Fall back, dude. You won't be able to destroy this. Okay, another scout with my hawk to see if they were rebuilding anything. And sending in my own hawks to destroy these uh, hammers. And my own hammers and grenadiers were able to kill these hammers. Oh, lone grenadier. Lone grenadier, let's see what you can do. No, nothing. Kinda sad. Okay. In come the albatross. Bombs away. Boom. Nice. Albatross are very nice at attacking HQs. They're they're very useful. Okay, so we're just stockpiling resources. At this point, no need to really try hard to build anything. Since it's very easy. Okay. So Green decides to attack. Okay. Now where are my albatross? There are my albatross. Hawks, albatross, you name it. Bombs away. Boom. Boom. Wonderful. Able to clench. Clench? Mm, whatever. Cleanse. Yeah, cleanse this army away. I think this was all of Green's reserve units that he used for defense. Well, in a desperation move, they just decide to attack, but their desperation move failed, and as you guys can see, Green is destroying his own buildings as a, as a kind of quit, quitting kind of thing, and so is Blue. Blue is quitting his own buildings, and another nuclear strike, boom. Good game. They played well, we played well, this was just a fun battle. Nothing more to it. Just epic fun, 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 yeah, good game.